Great to have you in today. Joy and I, mid-July, 50 days away, Packers, Bears, very exciting. Arizona, Denver, rookies report today. Um, you know, once or twice in my life, I've, ha I've had to sell a car, and selling a car is actually really easy because there's always somebody looking for a, a nice car that's been well taken care of, and they, they can get you know, at a reasonable price. Buying cars can be tough. You take it off the lot, you lose 30% of your value. So I've found through the years, uh, houses are very expensive. Uh, be careful buying a huge house that sometimes some people, you know, millennials don't want to have houses like, like we did growing up. The millennials now want smaller houses. They want to travel more. They don't want the big mortgage. But cars are easy to sell because there's, everybody's got a different situation in life. You're divorced. Uh, you're young. You don't have the money. You're just starting out in your life. And then there's the rich person that, that they want to treat themselves and buy the Mercedes. And they want, there's just a million different buyers out there with a million different agendas. And this is why... You can always move an NBA contract, okay? Chris Paul's contract is awful. I don't think it's as bad as John Wall's, uh, but it's bad. But if I was Miami, I'd go buy the contract because Miami right now is in NBA quicksand. They're 17th. This is Miami. There's a lot to do. It's a distracted market. It's like Los Angeles. Boring and okay doesn't work. You got to be interesting. Jimmy Butler and Chris Paul is interesting. Colin, they won't get along perfectly. No, this is not eHarmony. You're not, this is not going to be eHarmony. This is not why you're making the deal. You're not making the deal for harmony. I'm not even sure you're making the deal for titles. You're making the deal for two reasons. A, be interesting. Chris Paul and Jimmy Butler would be interesting in a very distracted market. Football season is big in Miami. Hurricanes, dolphins. It, there's a beach. There's a lot to do. The other reason is you can reboot quicker you can get four or five picks you have a very willing trade partner in oklahoma city oklahoma city doesn't want the chris ball contract and they have a surplus of picks they've got more picks than they never need so you've got the opportunity to put jet fuel into your reboot and get an interesting player in miami do it well i mean they may not get along Again, this is not e-harmony. You're not doing this move for harmony. You know that Butler and, and Chris Paul are both difficult. This will not be, it'll be like Harden-Westbrook. It could be exciting. We know Harden-Westbrook won't be the best duo. They may be the most fascinating. They may win a bunch of games, but there's going to be problems based on their personalities, rigid, and styles. This is not going to be about harmony, but it, but it makes you interesting, and you reboot things really quickly. And, and why you can always get rid of an NBA bad contract is why you can always get rid of sometimes bad cars because there's so many different buyers out there. In the NBA, you've got all these food groups. You've got five teams are NBA title favorites that with their current rosters should be favored to win the championship. Clippers, Lakers, Warriors, 76ers, Bucks. I'm counting the Warriors with Klay Thompson coming back. Those teams should be NBA title favorites. So that's one group of the NBA uh, buying group. They don't need to buy anybody. Those teams are good enough. Clay, Clippers, Lakers, Warriors, 76ers, Bucks. Then you got five total rebuild teams. Oklahoma City, Knicks, Cleveland, Charlotte, Memphis. Complete and utter rebuilds. Okay, they, they, they'll, give you, they'll give you good players. You may have to bite in a bad contract, but they'll give total rebuild teams. Knicks, Cavs, Grizz, Thunder, Hornets. Then you have these young and promising teams that they're not going to win the championship, uh, but they'll make it interesting. They may win a playoff series or two. Uh, Kings, Pelicans, Nuggets, Mavericks. Now, I, I, I put the Nuggets in this because they are still, even next year, super, super young. I don't think they necessarily need more pieces. These teams, I think, simply need more time. Then there's a bunch of teams that I think need another piece, but they're very, very good. Uh, I think Indiana, Portland, and San Antonio, they got the veterans. They don't need time. They need another piece. Portland should move that Hassan Whiteside contract at the trading deadline to get a Kevin Love. Uh, Indiana needs another piece, but they're very good and will win playoff series. Same with San Antonio. Then you have teams that are, uh, you know, th th there's also just teams that are just, Favorites, again, Clippers, Lakers, Warriors, 76ers, Bucks. I didn't count everybody in the NBA. I don't know where I put Utah. But you can always trade a car because you got the young kid that doesn't have any money. 
You have somebody that's just looking for uh, to get to work and get back. You've got the old people with money, and they want to reward themselves. You've got the family that has kids in soccer practice, and they just need space. you got the single divorce guy who wants to show off but can't afford the nice sports car, so he buys a used sports car convertible. There's a million buyers, and there, there's also, like, 30 NBA teams. There's like, there's, like, seven different groups of teams. Chris Paul in Miami... It really works. You'll be interesting. You'll be better. And you can jet fuel the reboot. And in Miami, they're not that patient. They're not that patient. Aqua water, beautiful beaches, nice winners, things to do, other pro teams. I love it. I love the move for Miami. Joy with the news. No, 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 no. Turn on the news. This is the Herdline News. Well, it was made official yesterday. Russell Westbrook is a rocket. Mm -hmm. And Thunder GM Sam Presti said in a team release, Russell Westbrook is the most important player in the brief history of the Oklahoma City Thunder. He has left an indelible mark on this team, city and state. None of us could have anticipated the player he has become, and we are all deeply proud of what he has contributed to the success of the franchise and to our community. That's fair. That's reason. That's so the Thunder accurate. are being classy with the that was classy. exit of Russell Westbrook. So, by the way, Westbrook was very classy. Did you see his Instagram yeah. post? I mean, well, they should be. I yes. mean, this is, this is the situation where, like I said yesterday, sometimes Sometimes you realize that this is the ceiling of the relationship. You've had issues from the beginning, and you've all worked through them, and you thought you could you could maybe get over the edge with a piece here and a piece there, and th th this is just what it is. This is all that Billy Donovan and Russell Westbrook were going to be able to accomplish together, and Sam Presti should be in there too because they did have some other incredible all-time pieces on the team that are no longer there. So there's plenty of blame to go around. It's not all on Russell Westbrook, but to Russ Russ's credit, Russ was incredible to the community there. Russ has this reputation, obviously, of a villain on the court because of the way that he plays. And you know, some people like yourself don't necessarily prefer the triple doubles and right. like the things that he, in his game that are not aesthetically pleasing or don't go along with what you like to watch in basketball. Off the court, he's been tremendous in, in Oklahoma City. He won the NBA, NBA Cares uh, Community Assist Award in 2014, 15. He was instrumental with all of the tornadoes and destruction that was.